We'll have more Will Farrell on the Harbaugh Sideshow tonight. But we begin with President Obama and Notre Dame and the debate over abortion. Author James Carroll's new book is called Practicing Catholic. He's a great novelist, of course. And U.S. Congresswoman Rosa Delores, a Democrat from Connecticut who supports abortion rights. And U.S. Congressman Tim Ryan is a Democrat from Ohio who opposes abortion rights. They're working together, however, on legislation to reduce the number of unwanted pregnancies and thereby reduce the number of abortions. I want to start with Congressman Tim Ryan. Uh, first of all, let's look at what the president said at Notre Dame on this very important question, looking for common ground on this very important issue. Is it Notre Dame yesterday? So let us work together to reduce the number of women seeking abortions. Let's reduce unintended pregnancy. Well, I think, uh, Congressman, and I think Congresswoman would all agree, and certainly I think, uh, James Carroll, that uh, it'd be nice. In fact, I don't even want to underestimate the moral importance of it. It'd be good, good, period, to have a lot less abortion in this country. I think that's a general commentary without making a moral statement. We just would like to see that happen, most people, most people. And the question, is it doable without outlawing abortion? Do you believe that's possible, Congressman Ryan? Well, I sure do. I think if we focus on the kind of uh, common sense measures, prevent unintended pregnancies. Most uh, abortions are performed on women who live within 200 percent of the poverty level. So this is really about access to prevention. So I think if we focus on that, we fund those programs that will provide that kind of access and at the same time incentivize adoption and those social service programs that if a woman does get pregnant, she has the wherewithal to bring the baby to term, know that the baby will have health care, make sure that if she's in college that there are uh, child care centers at the college campus, all of those things, nurses for newborns, those programs that would encourage the woman to bring the baby to term. So prevent it as much as you possibly can, and then if you still have a situation, adoption and those social programs to incentivize them to bring the baby to term. I think it is completely doable, and quite frankly, I think Barack Obama is the leader, the transformational leader that could make it happen. You know, I was looking for numbers today, Congresswoman DeLora, about the number of abortions in this country. We've got an estimate from the CDC of over 800,000. That was four or five years ago. Let's say it's up to about a million now. The question is, how do we deal with it? Four out of five people who apparently who have abortions are not married. So they're people that I assume are not intending to get pregnant, I assume. And therefore the question is, how do we help them not get pregnant? And then it brings in the question of birth control as well as abstinence. How do you bridge the gap between pro-life and pro-choice people to use those shorthand terms on this issue? Well, I think that uh, Congressman Ryan, my colleague, uh, and together what we've uh, tried to put together is a piece of legislation that deals both with prevention and contraception and the uh, uh, ec kinds of economic programs uh, that uh, will uh, allow uh, you know, a family to bring a child to term uh, and uh, to have the, the economic um, uh, wherewithal to be able to uh, to do it, but it is a combination, as uh, Tim Ryan pointed out, of of of, of prevention. And if if you uh, don't want to deal with the issue of prevention or with contraception, then you may not be serious about wanting to reduce that need uh, for, uh, for for abortions or unintended pregnancies. And I think the the um, I, I think that the president's speech was really historic in its sense that it. Uh, uh, for those of us who care a lot about Catholic education um, and uh, uh, the whole the whole position of uh, being bring unity and respect to very very divergent uh, 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 opinions on a volatile issue you know he demonstrated uh, his ability uh, to address very very tough issues he did it in the campaign when he he, he, he took head-on the issue of race and now he's taken on another very very uh, a, a contentious issue in this nation, divisive, and that is abortion. But in fact, that you can find common ground. Tim Ryan and I and others who support this legislation have worked very, very hard over the last couple of years uh, to look at how, in fact, we can uh, yeah. uh, 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 move is, uh, the dialogue forward, get beyond the constitutionality issue, move the debate forward, uh, find that common ground, and try uh, to bring some sense talk to this.
This is hard, boss. So let's talk turkey. The problem here is trying to find common ground here on an issue which is so morally consequential to so many people. Without generalizing, it's so consequential to so many people. Some would like to outlaw it. There's some people out there who would like to criminalize abortion out there somewhere. Certainly people would like to criminalize.